This video about the use of ultrasound for rejuvenation, especially rejuvenation of the skin, but also uh, about rejuvenation of the adipose tissue. So, yeah, so why I did this video? Because I always try to learn something new and I didn't uh, pay much attention to rejuvenation of the skin. So I know what I have to do to uh, accelerate it, uh, like to get into sauna regular and make chemical peeling but okay that's i didn't do it but now i was thinking why why not to use ultrasound okay let's go so low frequency ultrasonic therapy involves uh, the use of sound waves at frequencies above the audible range of human hearing uh, that is above 200 kilohertz to treat a variety of medical diseases so this technology exists uh, low frequency ultrasonic uh, therapy uh, therapy has been utilized in physiotherapy to enhance healing, reduce pain and inflammation and improve joint mobility. The intensity of the ultrasound uh, can be adjusted depending on the desired effect. It has also been used in cosmetic medicine to promote rejuvenation of the skin and in veterinary medicine to treat various musculoskeletal disorders in animals. The benefits of low frequency ultrasound uh, therapy includes uh, its non invasiveness, low risk of adverse effects, and ability to cure a wide spectrum of medical diseases and disorders. However, this therapy has limitations, of course. Furthermore, uh, low frequency uh, ultrasound uh, therapy may not be appropriate for certain people, such as those who have pacemakers or other medical devices. Okay, this is uh, uh, the uh, schematic presentation what uh, we can do with uh, ultrasound. So it depends on frequency, the depth, uh, where uh, the depth, uh, how the sound will penetrate to the skin is, depends on frequency. And the higher the frequency, the, the, the more shallow, the, the thinner the, the layer on the treatment. The senescent cells, but again, uh, I paid this attention to this ultrasound uh, 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 therapy because I got uh, so I got to some publication which are talking about rejuvenation uh, with ultrasound, not just cosmetic procedure. So okay, senescent cells are cells that have ceased to divide and are no longer functional. They create pro-inflammatory uh, cytokines as well as other toxic chemicals that can affect uh, neighboring cells and tissues. Also, senescent cells exist in small quantities. Uh, in, our, in any given tissue, they have been linked to a variety of age-related disorders and chronic tissue inflammation. Rejuvenating uh, senescent cells may slow down the aging process and reduce the risk of age-related disorders. The ability of low-frequency uh, ultrasound uh, therapy to rejuvenate senescent cells in the deposit tissue and other organs may, sust may substantially reduce level of chronic inflammation and alleviate metabolic and adiposit tissue dysfunction. Low-frequency ultrasound uh, therapy can also assist uh, enhance blood flow in adiposit tissue. So you see that uh, now, before I was talking about eliminating, killing the senescent or zombie cells, because and uh, then uh, or maybe suppressing uh, their activity so that they will not produce so much these pro-inflammatory cytokines. But now uh, I got the publication about that uh, the cells, senescent cells, can be reversed to normal cells. Okay, mechanical effects on cell activity has been long recognized. Tumor cells are known to be me mechanosensitive because of stretching, fluid shear, or ultrasound can induce apoptosis in vitro. Yeah, so furthermore, in older individuals, exercise appears to suppress tumor growth and indicators of the senescent cell load. So you can uh, click. Uh, on the, uh, this link, uh, there is a link uh, to this PDF file in the uh, uh, description in the, uh, to this video. So please uh, download PDF file and you can go a little bit further to get more information. Okay, controlled mechanical disturbances have recently been shown uh, to influence cell functioning and characteristic in a reproducible manner. Similarly, the low frequency ultrasound 
has no effect on normal cell state in the studies produced in the preprint. So this was my uh, uh, finding that I was reading this relatively recent uh, preprint, uh, 2022, uh, December, and then uh, I got the idea that uh, the ultrasound not only can kill a tumor uh, and uh, senescent cells, but can rejuvenate senescent cells. This is quite amazing, quite news for me. Both the ultrasound and exercise effects are synergistic, uh, causing uh, cell deformation. Both exercise and a low frequency uh, ultrasound, according to the authors of this preprint, will renew cells in situ without causing apoptosis and will improve the performance of the aged mice. They did experiments, of course, with mice, not with humans. But again, the, the findings were that these senescent cells not just die out uh, as a result of, uh, uh, of exposure to ultrasound. They reverse, they get normal, they get normal. It appears that low frequency ultrasound alone can rejuvenate senescent fibroblast and mis missing uh, chemo uh, stem cells in, in, in the deposit tissue, uh, resulting in suppression of senescence markers without changing their phenotype. In particular, ultrasound treatment with frequencies between 1 and 3 MHz causes mitochondrial fusion and uh, loss in uh, lysosome staining at the subcellular level. This is again quite interesting that, uh, that uh, lysosomes somehow can, uh, can digest uh, some lipofuscin, lipofuscin. Also, low frequency ultrasound uh, rejuvenates all the mice in vivo. So really, not only uh, experiments in cells, but uh, all the mice was rejuvenated. But it was indicated by improved physical performance and reduced number of senescent cells in, in the kidney and pancreas. So again, this uh, I give uh, reference to this preprint. Authors also observed improvement in age-related conditions uh, such as osteoporosis and cognitive decline in mice treated with ultrasound. Okay, authors, I will go a little bit in details, but uh, uh, it is very long preprint. Pre uh, you can better read it for yourself. Authors tested physical performance of 22, 25 months old mice uh, treated with a low frequency ultrasound. Now the treatment was different every day, uh, every day and every other day, uh, every third day, and with different uh, power levels, one, uh, like uh, one, um, some standard, uh, and 1.3 and two times higher power levels. The, and they, for comparison, they made six groups of four, four males and four females in a, every group. And, they were, and what was the groups? One group was reference untreated, and second was treated with a low frequency ultrasound. Uh, number three treated with exercise. Uh, it is 20 minutes on treadmill for 20 uh, times uh, per month. No, every uh, third day, you see it uh, looks optimum. Four uh, treated, uh, four, four, uh, group four treated with uh, both ultra, uh, low frequency ultrasound and exercise, and five treated with rapamycin and six treated with rapamycin and low frequency ultrasound. Rapamycin is a substance which uh, stops uh, the mTOR and uh, that ignites autophagy. Mice were treated with low frequency ultrasound 30 minutes uh, at uh, power, uh, at some normal power every day, and uh, this is D1, and every other day, D2, every uh, three day, the D3, and uh, different power levels for two weeks, then two weeks break, and again five weeks, uh, five, uh, uh, pardon, not this five, is sorry, uh, uh, again two weeks treatment. Okay, so this we can look at this uh, plots, and what we will see, uh, that we will see that all uh, the performance, uh, uh, like uh, all physical performances went up, especially treadmill, treadmill test was working very well, and the best results uh, were uh, in uh, uh, mice uh, treated at uh, every, uh, I mean, every third day. Every third day, it looks like we, if we go to gym, uh, going every day is not much help. 
Uh, you need uh, time to recover for your muscles and then it is one or two days uh, of rest is um, better. But every day it also works, okay, you see it every day and, uh, and uh, or make it. So every day is here and every one day uh, rest is a little bit less <laughs> and uh, two days of recovery is the best, show the best. Here, uh, but also uh, we see one day is okay with such. But two days gives by better, and uh, three days, uh, and, and two days rest is even better. Okay, he, there is some statistical, of course, uh, uh, um, uh, statistical um, uh, variation, so we cannot rely completely, but at least it shows some tendency that first uh, the physical exercises are doing uh, are very very well and then uh, but treatments together with treatments uh, it, it works much better so you see that uh, again uh, physical exercises alone can improve uh, the the uh, endurance and physical performance of the older mice but together with ultrasonic it's even better Okay, statistically significant improvements were consistently observed with low frequency ultrasound alone group and rapamycin plus uh, this uh, ultrasound treatment and exercise plus low frequency ultrasound group. So you see that rapamycin ignites uh, autophagy in mice and uh, in cells. But uh, again, uh, so, but it looks like as it is uh, synergistically uh, combined, can be synergistically combined with exercise and combined with uh, exposure to ultrasound, it looks like we can, we can explain that a low frequency ultrasound is, works the same like uh, autophagy. It, it ignites autophagy and it was shown in experiments with cells the same. Okay, thus physical performance was significantly improved in the treadmill and worked clinic the grip strength and rotor-rod uh, rotor uh, rotor uh, test for all treated mice, but was statistically significant with power 1.3 power, uh, uh, yeah, power. So there is optimal power. So if it is too much, it is not so well. And if it is uh, too low, okay. But unfortunately, the authors don't, don't uh, describe what is the power, what is the uh, standard power. And the, the other uh, details are missing, so it is, again, this information is interesting, but you have to be cautious and uh, to think. And maybe if you want to make some experiments with ultrasonic device, yeah, but you just mind that it is... A uh, new area, and despite it is uh, long used in cosmetic procedures, uh, you have to be careful. But again, it gives some result. It gives some amazing result, especially with adipose tissue, because uh, the, it's uh, adipose tissue uh, collect not only toxins, but it collect also the senescent or zombie cells. Okay, the authors of the preprint proposed a hypothesis that low-frequency ultrasound therapy may activate autophagy and mitochondrial fusion in senescent cells. This was uh, observed that mitochondria, uh, number of mitochondria uh, is increasing after the treatment. Okay, then uh, this explains that, okay, after the treatment, uh, it is looks like autophagy together with uh, the fusion and uh, increasing number of mitochondria, it, it is like rejuvenation. Okay, we, we can expect that uh, kind of number of mitochondria uh, is increasing after the, the physical exercise. It is indeed so. But again, if plus treatment by ultrasound, it, it helps even better. Okay, this suggested that a low frequency ultrasound sound treatment may increase the secretion of growth factors. Uh, which could contribute to tissue regeneration, but I would um, also add that it may be, uh, if you want to, uh, to grow muscles, maybe a treatment with ultrasound, not, not very long, one to five minutes per, per day, uh, may increase uh, the uh, growth of the muscles. May, but again, this is not certain. Uh, low frequency ultrasound may, uh, therapy may help in the reduction of local swelling, uh, chronic inflammation, and the acceleration of bone fracture healing. It is safe and widely used to treat a variety of medical conditions. It's used uh, in, uh, to treat soft tissue conditions like tendinitis, uh, non-acute joint swelling, and spasm of the muscles. 
low frequency ultrasound uh, can help with majority of muscle and ligament uh, problems. It can be used to alleviate pain and enhance tissue repair. Uh, low frequency ultrasound provides deep warmth uh, to soft tissue in order to stimulate blood circulation to such tissues, may, uh, which may aid, uh, aid uh, help healing, reduce pain and improve muscle flexibility. Ultrasound energy can cause small gas bubbles to contract and expand rapidly. It is at, uh, certain, uh, at higher power of ultrasound. And, so, and then this uh, cavitation inside the tissue may, uh, may work somehow, may, may accelerate uh, the soft tissue or, uh, or deposit tissue healing. And uh, so it is maybe it is helpful. But again, it is uh, very much used, uh, this ultrasound, very much used in uh, cosmetic procedures. Uh, it is like for rejuvenation of skin, special face, uh, wrinkles reduction, and... Uh, and also to deliver some uh, medications to the skin because uh, ultrasound is not uh, it needs some uh, some substance uh, some liquid uh, to uh, between the, the emitter and the skin and if you use some medications or some cream which uh, comprises vitamins then it can improve delivery of these vitamins and other substances to your skin Okay, it is very much in use, uh, such procedures you can pay money and uh, women like it, okay, they do it, uh, okay, that's, uh, even uh, there is uh, not much science behind it, uh, but okay, it works, it works, so maybe, maybe the idea is just uh, to improve uh, blood circulation, and as we know, blood circulation always helps to rejuvenate skin. And uh, uh, getting to sauna, for example, every day uh, is much, much helpful to keep your uh, skin healthy and uh, looking very young. Okay, thank you for taking time to uh, watch the video. And uh, please comment, subscribe, like, ask questions and share information. Again, uh, what I want to say is that uh, the, uh, more and more information is coming to, to us, uh, especially with this uh, uh, artificial intelligence it is so easy to create uh, videos to create uh, presentations nowadays but problem that uh, all this presentation are based on uh, present level of official status of the medicine so if you uh, watch uh, presentation in internet they are mostly in internet they are mostly uh, promote uh, the, uh, the official viewpoint and then um, you know that official medicine is denies uh, a possibility of uh, rejuvenation. They, they claim that you can improve health uh, for a while, uh, or, but uh, to extend your lifespan, yeah, they, they think it is impossible because the limit is kind of 120 years. But to my opinion, Again, it is not true. We can extend the lifespan much longer, uh, behind the 100 years, maybe a few hundred years. And uh, okay, but again, you have to understand how it works, why it works, why there are some mammals uh, who uh, that are not aging at all. I'm talking about night uh, mole rats in uh, uh, northeastern Africa and uh, then they are not aging at all so you have to understand what what wh why what do they eat and uh, how they uh, what is the conditions of their life but what is interesting uh, as they live too long uh, sometimes and life is a nightmare for them I believe uh, it is very hard very hard and then someday some uh, they're not dying of aging uh, they can die from some uh, accident or poisoning by snake uh, or uh, sometimes they just stop eating, stop drinking and just they, they are so much tired with this life, they, they want to die. They, <laughs> it is so interesting again. But again, this just show you that extending of life, it is not extending of your pleasures, it is hard work. If you accept life as it is, with suffering, with uh, disappointment and uh, then maybe and uh, also invest your money and time in it, then maybe you can live much longer. And uh, eventually you can live uh, maybe up to thousand years, okay, if you want. But uh, most people don't want, don't want again. I don't know why, but again, I enjoy life. Even I accept everything and disappointment and uh, 
and deception and uh, all the, the shit which is uh, happening with uh, my life and uh, but okay but I accept it I love it I love biology I love I love uh, science nature and uh, what I see around and it, it helps it makes me happy actually and uh, especially uh, I returned my uh, uh, my agent so that I don't have any problem now with prostate gland or with uh, high blood pressure or what and uh, I see that my body slowly rejuvenates but again it is hard work hard work don't expect the quick results but in ultrasonic maybe maybe it is good maybe some people who are bees maybe they use uh, can use uh, ultrasound to uh, remove toxins or accelerate uh, removal toxins and even to rejuvenate body but uh, again as I always say the 70-80% uh, of your success depends on what you eat and how you eat. So keeping one meal a day and following strict carnivore diet, to my opinion, is the best. But it's up to you and you have to decide. Because if uh, food is entertainment for you, if you are eating food uh, just uh, uh, to please yourself, then okay. But uh, again, but when I shifted to carnivore diet, I don't want to eat anything more, anything else. I, I don't want to eat sugars, fruits, and uh, vegetables. They are just look to me disgusting. I used to, uh, I, I mean, even ketchup, for example, to uh, use ketchup. I, I stopped it. Why? Because I just, I used to uh, eat uh, eggs or meat with ketchup, but now not. No, I don't like it. I don't like all these sauces. But spices, okay. I use spices, of course. Spices is okay. The use of plants for uh, spices as uh, decoration and the medicine is absolutely fine to me, and uh, this is what I'm trying to do. Unfortunately, again, it it goes slowly. I want to be rejuvenated overnight, but doesn't work so okay. But it goes slowly anyway. I I I'm I, I like it. I like to feel strong and uh, full of energy. And uh, okay, that's all. That's it. Okay. And you please uh, have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao.